I came to work with my husband every day. And when the picketers started coming, they would be lined up on the street and that feeling of dread as we drove towards work would always be there. The recent wave of terrorism has left abortion providers across the nation facing the difficult decision of whether or not to continue. This doctor lives with his wife and their child in a small New England village. Their life, however, has been far from quiet. Like so many other providers throughout the country, this physician has been the target of picketers for years. We went away over Christmas and came back to find a, uh, a letter in my mailbox that said, you better check your baby killing facility and then any questions. And underneath it, it showed a picture of a 357 Magnum pointing directly out of the page. You're working under enormous pressure of people outside harassing women you're trying to help. Women that are there because they need or want to be there. That feeling of dread just carried over when we'd come home. Will there be a phone call? Will there be another piece of hate mail? Approximately nine months before I closed my practice, there was a bullet fired into the waiting room of my office. It became apparent to me that we were in real danger. They know where we live. Uh, we could move. They could find us again. What kind of harm is out there for my child. What's next? <laughs> <laughs>